The fire concentration, the challenge that we're facing here in the state is now disproportionately impacting Northern California. And that is because of close to 12,000 lightning strikes that we experienced over a 72 hour period. Uh, just a day ago, I announced that we are struggling to address uh, the needs of suppressing some 376 fires in this state. That number has grown to about 560 fires in the state of California. You had a lot of sleeper fires. Uh, this we anticipated as the smoke cleared, as our reconnaissance efforts increased, as we compared and contrast uh, the federal efforts with the local and state efforts. Uh, that new number represents 560 active fires that we are addressing, trying to suppress here in California. We now are engaged formally with mutual aid from 10 different states. Uh, we've been on the phone with governors all throughout the United States, not just the Western states, uh, trying to reach out as far as the East Coast to see if we can get uh, resources here into the state of California, address the stress that we placed on the 12,000 plus firefighters that are on the lines as we speak, uh, trying to suppress these wildfires all up and down the state of California. We've also reached out across the border uh, into Canada for resources and support. And many of you up here recall, I think it was 2017, the support that uh, we were provided and the support we provided in turn uh, of some of the best uh, wildfire, wild, wildfire firefighters in the world from Australia. Uh, we also have requests out uh, for uh, that talent as well. There's been 20 epic wildfires in the state of California. Uh, this complex represents the 10th largest. Uh, the complex at SCU represents the 7th largest uh, that the state has ever had to battle.